always say, if you're born in Hawaii, you'll surf. If you're born in Austria, you'll ski. If you're born in Argentina, you the most likely you'll play polo. What's the thing you're best at on the field? Yeah. I'm tough. I'm I'm not the most talented guy with a ball or playing. I run, I, I hit people hard, I never give up. So you're determined? Oh, yes, determined. <laughs> Determined and talented, right? Welcome back to CBS this morning. Nacho Fagandes is a face of polo on and off the field. In fact, this heartthrob, you could call him a heartthrob from Buenos Aires, is often called the David Beckham of polo. He plays a sport associated with the upper class, but he's trying to make it more mainstream in the United States. Nacho Figueres is with us this morning. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's great to be here. How is it going trying to make polo more popular? Well, it's going really well. I think um, it's it's going to take a while. It's been it's a it's a hard task, but um, uh, we have the uh, Veclico Polo Classic coming up on June 2nd at Liberty State Park, and um, we uh, sold out the tickets in two weeks. So I'm, in I'm, two I'm weeks? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, you know, I'm really excited about that. Really looking forward to it, and and I think that people are responding. I assume Prince Harry, the fact that he likes polo, adds to the popularity. Um, obviously, that always helps. Um, <laughs> the, whatever these kids do, it gets to, seems yeah. to get a lot of attention. And I think it was great that we had him uh, in the in the first couple of events. It really made the yes. event. And now, unfortunately, he's not able to be with us. But I think that you know people had really um, gotten into mm -hmm. it, and, and and people are following. But Nacho, the, you're still there. I'm and, still and there. And you're still there, and you're still on the horse. Listen, the first time I went to a polo game, you were there, and I couldn't even tell you what I was looking at. I was just busy looking at you going back and forth, back and forth. And But there's something about the game that I think, the majesty of the horses and the men on top of the horses, that it's a tough sport, it's a rough sport, and you like it because why? Well, uh, I, I agree with you 100%. It's not that I'm trying to sell, you know, um, um, something that's not fantastic. I think yeah. that polo is a sport that has a lot to offer. It's fast, like you said, it's, it, a lot of things are going on. My passion is, main passion are the horses. That's what I love the most about the sport. Uh, and, um, and it's really fun. It's a fun thing to do with your family, with your friends. You with go your out. family? Yeah. Really? Um, I play polo with my son now. He's 12 and he's starting to play polo. So it's something that you, you can do together. Yeah, take from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a wonderful sport, not just to play, but also for spectators. Because of your association with Ralph Lauren, uh, and almost the face of Ralph Lauren, uh, in some ways, uh, you have achieved a popularity yes. uh, and fame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where does that go for you? Um, I, I absolutely think that the relationship with Ralph Lauren has been the, uh, the platform for me to get a little bit of recognition to be able to talk about the sport that I love, and, you the, love. and the thing that I am mm -hmm. trying to do with uh, um, and, and I, I absolutely having that opportunity to, to work with uh, that this great man has given me that no the, uh, the recognition the, the, the uh, magazine ads. Yeah, the, it's exposed uh, you the, to a whole different audience. The, I mean, when you think of you're the face of polo, you play yeah. polo, how cool is that, number one? So <laughs> did Ralph Lauren find you or did uh, you find Ralph Lauren? How did, how did this happen, the two no, of you? He, no, he, he found me, but um, you know, I, I think that now after 12 years, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, I'm, uh, I'm honored to, to, to stay at, to be at, still be at the team. He's a fantastic person, someone that I respect a lot also as a person, not just a not just the the the, uh, the leader of this company. Yeah. I like him a lot as a family man and as a leader, and uh, and he's an, a big inspiration for me. But you know, that's what I like about you too, Nacho, because you're a family man. You are happily married. Your lovely wife, Delfina, is a knockout. She's just <laughs> as gorgeous as you are. You've got three children, and I wonder, do you ever get tired of people saying, "Oh, you're so good looking"? When you walked in today, somebody said, "I don't know, I, I don't know what he looks like," and somebody said, "Wait, when he walks in, you will know who Nacho Fagetis is." So, how do you handle this mantle of? People obviously think you're very good looking, but your heart is, be is bigger than that. That's the point I'm trying to make. I, I don't, like you said, I'm happily married to the most gorgeous woman <laughs> in go. the world. I don't think about it, and I try to use whatever this thing that's happening to me. This thing. Yeah, to, yeah. to promote polo, and also, you know, this, this coming Saturday, the, uh, the polo match is to benefit the Work to Ride program, which is this amazing program that this friend of mine, Leslie, has. Exposing and, uh, kids who yes. normally don't get a chance. Yes, yeah. yes. Disadvantaged kids that use polo as a vehicle to stay out of travel yeah. and yeah. find a, a good reason to, 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 to learn and to do great things. Yeah, Nacho, it's always good to see you. It's always wonderful good to, to see you. See you.